everybody it is Cicely Justine here and we are back with yet another video so today I am going to show you seven ways to unlock your joy I know that you see people sometimes and they just radiate love they radiate joy they radiate happiness and you want to know what are the hacks to feel that way and to exude that type of happiness so Again, I'm here to show you seven ways that we're going to unlock your joy today. Okay, so let's get right into it. Hack number one. First, you need to identify negative influences in your life. Take a moment. Get out your notepad. Get out the notes app in your phone. Get out a pen and paper and really take the time to think about what is negatively influencing my life. What are the factors that are causing me to feel some type of way? Sometimes it's people. Sometimes it's your surroundings, including your job, or I hate to say it, sometimes it's family members. Sometimes it's who you think is your friends. Sometimes, most of the time, it's what you are consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. What TV shows are you watching? Are you watching a whole bunch of thrillers? Are you watching a whole bunch of sad movies with a traumatic outcome? And what are you watching every day? You know what I'm saying? What are you clicking on when you scroll through Netflix? What are you listening to? What kind of music are you listening to? We are sponges, okay? We absorb everything <laughs> and it is important to watch what we are absorbing on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So again, write down all the negative influences in your life. It doesn't matter how big, it doesn't matter how small, okay? Just write it down, let your pencil go, don't overthink it, all right? Because we have to identify what is causing me to feel this way. Yes, most of it is me, but there are also other influences around you that are causing you to feel down. So let's point them out. Let's call them out. Declutter your physical space. Okay, y'all. <laughs> this is so important. Okay. When you actually clean up your space, and even if you are a clean person, there's a closet somewhere that needs to be gone through and cleaned up. There's a bathroom somewhere that can be spruced up. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, when you declutter your surroundings, it declutters your mind, okay? Because we are, like I said, sponges, all right? So when our surroundings aren't up to par, right? It's dirty, it's dishes piling up in the sink, you got laundry everywhere, you know what I'm saying? That also gets in your mind, and your mind also becomes cluttered and just full of stuff and i know that it seems like that's not true or that's make-believe or that's just what people say no it is 100 percent true you will feel better when your surroundings look better that's how we are that's how our brain operates okay so when you see something just like we were talking about negative influences what you're watching on tv and stuff like that when you see something that goes into your subconscious, you're feeding into your subconscious. So when you are walking around your house and you are looking at all this stuff that's everywhere, your subconscious is getting filled with stuff as well. And it needs to be decluttered. So as silly, as make-believe as that sounds, give it a try. Give it a try for 21 days. Keep your space clean for 21 days and watch what happens. Hack number three, review. Hack number one, which is that list that I told you to make and take a look at what needs to be eliminated. Now it's not realistic to say, I'm gonna eliminate everything at the same time, okay? Week one, eliminate something from that list. Week two, eliminate something else from that list, all right? And I promise you, you are going to watch your life transform. Stop watching thrillers, okay? Stop watching these reality shows that make you feel some type of way. 
Stop watching these movies that are like traumatic and violent and scary, okay? Start listening to positive podcasts. Start going on YouTube, okay? Look for people who inspire you. Watch their vlogs. Watch videos like this. Hit that like button for me. And I promise you, you're going to start to feel better, okay? So hack number three, you need to go through the list from hack number one. And you need to check off things that you're going to eliminate week by week. If you can't do week by week, check one thing off for 21 days. Check another thing off the next 21 days. And I promise you, if you are consistent, if you are adamant, if you are persistent, you will start to feel better. I guarantee it. Hack number four, embrace a positive mindset. So what do I mean about embracing? It's not just saying, I'm gonna be positive today. No, it's actually believing that you're gonna be positive today. It's actually waking up in the morning, thanking God for waking you up in the morning. It is after you thank God waking you up in the morning. Don't get on your phone. I need you to say three positive affirmations before you get out of bed. Three positive affirmations before you get out of bed. Doesn't matter what it is, how big, how small, doesn't matter. Just three, okay? And you will start to embrace a positive mindset. You will start attracting positive things in your life because you are being grateful. You are being grateful by thanking God that you woke up. You are being grateful by saying positive affirmations. When you get up and go to the bathroom to brush your teeth and wash your face, smile at yourself. Smile and say, wow, you are beautiful. Wow, you are handsome. Wow, I am proud of you because it is day three and you have been consistent in not watching that show, not watching Married to Medicine, <laughs> not watching Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? Because it sparks negative emotions. It's negative. I'm just, I'm just saying. And I, and I know that those are random shows and I'm, part, I'm, I'm spitting out and you probably watch them and like, oh, I feel attacked. I'm just, I'm just keeping it a thousand. That's all I can do is keep it a thousand with you. Okay. So again, embrace, embody a positive mindset. Be positive, not wishing you were positive, but actually being positive one step at a time, one day at a time, one prayer at a time one affirmation at a time. And I promise you, you are going to start to unlock your joy. Hack number five, detox from social media. I know, I know, it's hard. <laughs> it's gonna seem impossible, especially for my fellow influencers and content creators out there, okay? detox from social media. All right. So I'm going to break this up into two categories. First, I'm going to talk to my non-content creators, my non-influencers. Okay. For you, I would eliminate social media very slowly. Okay. How I would do this is I would say, okay, for a week, I'm going to reduce my watch time because you can go on your phone and see how long you're scrolling on these apps and indulging on these apps i will reduce my watch time by an hour week one week two two hours okay and if again week by week is too much for you 21 days because it takes 21 days to change a habit okay and then what i would do from there is have it where you are only scrolling through social media once a day, okay? If there is one social media app that I would keep, it's YouTube because YouTube has so many like positive things that you can indulge in, positive people that you can listen to, positive podcasts that you can watch and listen to. I would, if I could keep one social media while I'm detoxing, it'll be YouTube. Everything else, 
I would slowly but surely start to eliminate. Okay, that's my advice. Now, for my content creators and my influencers out there, what I would do is start to limit your time from scrolling and do more of creating, do more of planning, do more of pushing content and scheduling content, okay? I would do less and less time week by week, every 21 days, cut it an hour, cut it two hours, you know what I'm saying? And you will start to see a difference when you start focusing on your content, your work, and less on what other people are doing and up to, okay? Because you won't be absorbing all that energy, negative, but it doesn't matter. You will be focusing on yourself and your craft and excelling and less time scrolling and absorbing, okay? So that's my advice for non-content creators and content creators. Detox from social media one way or another. You know your levels. You know what you can do. And you know what you can't do. So start with, start small. Size of a mustard seed, start small. But eventually you need to get to a point where you won't rely on that social media. You won't rely on social media being your source of endorphins or whatever, dopamine, whatever, okay? Okay. Hack number six, prioritize self-care. Girl, if you are working from home or whatever you're doing, get cute. Like today, when I'm done making this video, I gotta go work from home and I'm cute. I got my lipstick on. I got my hoop earrings on. I got a nice shirt on. Be cute. Get up and look some type of way because when you look good, you feel good. Okay? Stop walking around all day in your pajamas. Let's stop doing that. Get up and get dressed. Get up and get dressed. I'm going to say it one more time. Get up and get dressed. <laughs> put on some lipstick. Not lipstick, put on some lip gloss at least, okay? We have got to prioritize self-care. Go get your massages every six weeks, okay? Go get some, get some rest. Go to bed and stop scrolling on TikTok every night. Go to sleep. If you need to take a melatonin, take that melatonin and go to sleep at night. Get you at least seven, eight hours of sleep. Everybody really needs a good eight, nine, seven or eight hours of sleep. That's what you need. That is a part of self-care. Okay. I know that this is probably going to be TMI, but when I was going through depression, okay, and I will list uh, my depression story in the description for you all to check out. But when I was going through my depression, I self-care was the first thing that went out the window. First thing that went out the window. Okay. And I regret that. I regret letting myself go like that. And I know that it's hard when you're going through depression um, to let go of your self-care first. But if you can just hold on just a little bit while you're getting therapy, while you're talking to God, while you're taking your antidepressant, if you can just hold on to a little bit of your self-care, brush your teeth morning and night, take a bath morning or night or whatever, wash your face, okay? Have a morning routine, have a night routine. For example, my night routine is at seven o'clock every night that is my me time. I make sure my kids are good. I make sure my husband is good. I make sure everybody's fed. So that by seven o'clock, that's my me time. I get in there, get in the bathroom. I put on my music. I got a playlist just for my night routine. I put on my music and I jam it out in the shower. I jam it out while I wash my face, put my mask on, brush my teeth, all that. I be dancing. I even put on a little bit of perfume at night. Just a little bit, okay? Get you a night routine just for you and stick with it, okay? This will help boost your joy. 
even if it's not a night routine, morning routines, have something that is just for you. Make it a part of your everyday routine and I promise you, you're gonna start to see a difference. Hack number seven and my last hack, be grateful. No matter what you are going through, be grateful. Be grateful for what you do have. Do you have a roof over your head? Do you have food to eat? Do you have a means of transportation? Do you have fulfill fulfilling relationships in your life? Those are the things that you need to be grateful for. Those are the things that you need to remind yourself while you're going through some tough times. Expressing gratitude daily will help you unlock your joy, okay? Again, this is all a part of changing your mindset. Once you do this, you're going to start transforming your mind once you start to transform your mind, you are going to start to transform your life. It's going to transform right in front of your eyes. You can do this. I'm talking to you. You can and you will feel better. You can and you will unlock your joy. All right. There you have it, y'all. So those are the seven hacks to unlocking your joy. What is your favorite hack or what do you do to help you unlock your joy? Let's join the conversation in the comments to help somebody else out there to unlock their joy as well. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you like my vibe, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because as you can see, your girl needs to hit that 1,000 subscribers, okay? <laughs> so again, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all on the next video. Bye-bye.